68 crews will start the inaugural Central European Rally, which sees a WRC event contested across three countries for the first time. Starting out in Prague, Czech Republic, action will also cross through Austria before finishing in Germany. The penultimate round of the season has a star-studded entry list, with 10 top-line Rally 1 cars and 30 competing in WRC2. But all eyes are on two drivers. Series leader Kalle Rovenpera goes head-to-head with Elvin Evans for the championship, the Welshman trailing his Toyota teammate by 31 points. Robin Pera is the reigning champion, having become the youngest ever 12 months ago in New Zealand, while Evans is looking to avoid being the bridesmaid once again after finishing second in both 2020 and 21. Robin Pera has three wins to his name this season, and Evans two, but Evans finished ahead of Robin Pera last time out in Chile, and says catching the 23-year-old is not impossible, so watching their fight unfold will be fascinating. A bombshell landed on M Sport Ford as their lead driver Oi Tanak announced he was going back to Hyundai for the 2024 season after just a single year back with Malcolm Wilson's squad. The news came just days after Tanak and co-driver Martin Yarveoya had secured their second win of the season in Chile. M Sport will field three Pumas for Tanak, Pierre-Louis Lubey and Gregoire Munster. But with their top-tier crew bound for a rival outfit, it will be fascinating to see whether the approach of the 2019 world champions will be to go all out with maximum attack to end this chapter of their relationship on a high. Sebastian Ogier is no stranger to switching teams, having won the world championship with three different manufacturers. He's back for the maiden Central European Rally in a Toyota Yaris, driving alongside Robin Pera, Evans and Takamoto Katsuta. Thierry Neuville and Esa Pekalapi spearhead Hyundai Motorsports lineup, while Tebu Sunanen, who came agonizingly close to achieving his maiden Rally 1 era podium in Chile last time out, before a crash on the penultimate stage, makes his asphalt debut in the i20N Rally 1 Hybrid. And WRC2 lovers are in for a real treat, with all the main title protagonists set to go head-to-head for victory, with championship leader Andreas Mikkelsen battling Johan Rossell, Gus Greensmith, Nikolai Gryazin, and Kajetan Kajetanovic, among others, for glory on what will be an historic event. For the first time in the history of the WRC, an event is being held in three different countries. After starting in Prague, a series of diverse and challenging special stages take the competitors to Czech Republic, Austria and Germany, where the rally will finish in Passau. Up until 2019, ADAC Rally Germany was one of the biggest sporting events in the country, an event won three times each by 2023 competitors Sebastian Ogier and Oi Tanak, and an incredible nine by Sebastian Loeb. Electricity generated from renewable sources will be used to charge the service park before the cars power away onto the 310 competitive kilometres of stage action using 100% fossil-free fuel, making the Central European Rally one of the most sustainable in the sport's history. So get ready to see history in the making. It's all live across the world on Rally TV. Then you fall right sharp, middle, into.